Okay, I know exactly what you're feeling right now. You're stressed. You're trying to figure out whether you want to take a trip on a Disney cruise or if you want to make a trip to Disney World, which is 100% understandable as to why you're having a hard time choosing either one. Because let me tell you, it ain't an easy choice for me as well. But don't you worry. By the end of the video, we should have a strong idea as to which one of these we want to pick. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so the first place we want to start is the pricing. Now, when it comes to the pricing, you obviously want to know which one is is gonna give you the best bang for your buck. And depending upon how you look at this, it's going to distinguish which one is more of a valuable pricing depending upon what you see as being more valuable. The different amenities that you get with the pricing, overall package of what you're spending, the different things like that. Well, first off, starting with Disney World, the average price according to mousesavers.com for a one day ticket for an adult is a range from $116 to $170. A child is going to range $110 to $164. Now, if we're going to be looking at the park hopper, it's going to be $185 to $238 per adult, and it's going to be $180 to $233 for a child for a one day park hopper. Now, when it comes to talking about the average family and the pricing that it would be for them to go to Disney World, it is very expensive when you break it down. If you've been paying attention to any type of Disney news, Disney has been increasing their pricings to get into the park. Let's use a family of four as to what it would cost them to go to Disney World. It would cost them an average of five to eight thousand dollars for your food being included in that pricing, which to me is sad because taking into consideration the average family out there, they aren't going to be able to afford, unfortunately, to go to Disney World. I hope that someday this will be fixed and we will not have to see these prices, but like you, I know it's pretty pretty unlikely for that to happen. Now, moving on to the Disney Cruise, it also can be viewed as being pretty expensive for a family four as well. The pricing for a Disney Cruise is going to average between $2,500 to $5,000, depending upon the destinations that you're gonna be going and also the time you're looking to go on the cruise. However, the cool thing about that pricing though is that you're gonna be ultimately paying for your room, your food, and also to go to those destinations. So that pricing, when you look at it is something that can be viewed as being kind of affordable because you're getting a package which is going to be all of that included. So looking at the pricing when it comes to that, in my eyes, in all honesty, the Disney Cruise really gives you a best bang for your buck in that regard. The next thing that I want to go into into helping you make that decision is looking at the entertainment and things to do. Now looking at Disney World, you have a lot more themed Disney activities to do because of course it's Disney world. You'll have the rides, you'll have the entertainment with the cavalcades and parades that are starting to slowly come back. You do have those available to you to be able to go and see when you are going to Disney World. When it comes to Disney Cruise Line, let me tell you, they do an amazing job to bring Disney on a ship. I am not lying, guys. When we went on that ship, I was such in the mindset that I'm going to be bored while I'm on the cruise because there's going to be nothing to do while we're going to be sailing. I'm going to be in my room the entire time wondering why did I end up going on a cruise when I could have put that money to go to Disney World. And let me tell you, it was the best thing that I did and I was completely wrong when it comes to that. It was such an awesome time. There was so much to do in so many different areas, which spoiler alert, if you haven't seen my vlog series, which I will link below, we didn't get to everything because we had so much to do. Again, I will say Disney does an amazing job on the cruise to make sure that you have something to do. So if you are leaning towards going to the Disney cruise and you're worried about that, I'm here to tell you, don't be. Now, before we go into the next thing, which is gonna be covering the food, if you could do me a huge favor, if you're finding this to be valuable so far, if you could hit that like button, that'd be awesome to push this out to more people. So I really would appreciate that. Now, going into the food aspect about it, we'll first start off with Disney World. When it comes to Disney World, you'll have a multitude of different areas of which you can get food from. They're all will be ranging from the average basic park food to the most expensive cuisine. When it comes to options, Disney World is going to by far beat the Disney Cruise Line in that category because of the sheer size of Disney World compared to a ship. But what I will say on the Disney Cruise, the food is 
The chef's kiss, it is really good for that price that you're paying. You also have the ability to have as many of those different entrees, appetizers, desserts, whatever you want, as many times as you want when you are sitting down for your meal time. They do an amazing job to make sure that your palate is satisfied by the time you are done eating, no matter which restaurant you're in. And also, if you've never been on a Disney cruise, let me tell you that depending upon which dining room you're gonna have, it will also interact with you while you're eating, which is so cool because you're able to create those memories and just enjoy it with your family and it just makes the dining experience so much more better when it comes to that. It really blew me away of how of amazing job they do when it comes to that. The next thing that I wanna go over, which I think is valuable to you when you're trying to plan a trip, is going to be the stress level in planning for the trip and also while you're on the trip as well. If you haven't already watched our Disney Cruise vlog, me and Amanda ended up doing a surprise trip where we went to Disney World for one day after we got off the cruise. And let me tell you guys, it was pretty busy when we were going at that time. Now, we did end up going around Christmas time, so it was to be expected that it was gonna be pretty busy, but watching some of our our favorite vloggers like Tim Tracker or Paging Mr. Morrow, also Kyle, you can see that the crowds have been exponentially worse than it has been in previous years. Now, when it comes to the Disney Cruise, however, it was a lot less stressful for both booking the cruise and also being on the cruise. When we booked our cruise, there really wasn't that much that we had to worry about. Everything is going to be taken care of for the most part in that price. All you simply have to really worry about is choosing whether or not you want to have a veranda room that has an ocean view. So once that was all taken care of, we really had nothing to worry about. Now, the only other thing that was pretty stressful to us, which is going to be kind of situational depending upon when you're gonna be going on the cruise and their guidelines of the pandemic, it was pretty stressful for us to have to go through that process of getting tested. But once that was taken care of, once we got the green light that we were all set to board the ship, it was legit smooth sailing. You see what I did there? We honestly had no stress whatsoever while on the cruise. You felt relaxed the entire time. You didn't have to worry about how you were gonna get to one destination to another. You didn't have to stress about traffic. You didn't have to worry about pretty much anything because they really go above and beyond to make sure that this is going to be the best experience for you, which is getting a little bit into the next kind of category that I'm gonna be going over. The next category that I wanna go into is service. When it comes to the Disney Cruise Line, there is just a little bit more, actually a lot more of a personal experience that you're gonna be getting with the cast members. I really wanna drive home as to how amazing these cast members are. They go out of their way to make sure to personalize your experience to your specific expectations as to what it is. I have never in my life, and I'm not just saying this experience, the amount of personalized customer service that I've experienced when I went on a Disney cruise. So overall, with my personal opinion, if you have never experienced a Disney cruise, I would definitely recommend you trying it. So I hope you really enjoyed this video. Again, if you did, if you can please hit that like button and if you're not subscribed, join the family. And also before you go, make sure to check this video out which is gonna go over the 10 things that you should pack before going on your Disney cruise.